everyone and welcome back to the channel today. We're going to look at low float and high fully diluted valuation or FDV. Now, if you've been trying to understand what these terms mean and why they're important, you are in the right place. Today's video is based on a recent report from Binance Research on low float and high FDV. Let's break it down together. So what exactly are low float and high FDV? Well, in simple terms, low float means a small percentage of a token's total supply is available for trading right after launch. Now, high FDV, on the other hand, represents the total value of the token if all of its supply were in circulation. Now, let's talk about meme coins. While some view them as controversial, their appeal is quite straightforward. They're fun and they respond naturally to the low flow, high FDV. It seems as if meme coins are here to stay. They reflect a deeper trend in the altcoin market, whether you like it or not. Let's think of it this way. Let's say Apple came out with a new iPhone and they sell a few at launch, but plan to release more in the future. The initial price obviously might be high due to scarcity. However, once more of those phones are released, the price could drop. And the same concept applies to tokens. Now, why does this actually matter? Because if a token starts with a low float, but a high SDV, it can initially seem very valuable. That's why it matters. However, as more tokens are released, there's not enough demand and the price can drop significantly like we've seen for many, many projects. Now, it's a bit like inflating a balloon. It looks big at first, but it can deflate quickly if you don't handle it carefully. Now, let's start with some key takeaways from the Binance report. The first we'll look at is the high valuations, low supply. Now, there is a growing trend of tokens launching with high valuations and low initial supply, which most of the times leaves a little room for sustainable price increases after launch. Another takeaway we can look at is the unlocking pressure of the token. Now, data from CoinMarketCap and Token Unlock shows that 155 billion worth of tokens will be unlocked from 2024 to 2030. That means there's a lot of potential selling pressure unless we see a huge increase in the buy side demand, i.e. retail. The report also talks about market observations. And the market has been excited about these tokens because many of them see a very rapid price increase due to limited liquidity at launch. But when more tokens get unlocked, price actually drops significantly and the roller coaster ride continues. Exciting, but very, very risky. With such a huge supply of tokens expected to be released without retail here yet or some kind of matching demand that this could mean a significant price drop for many, many tokens. So how did we end up with so many tokens having high SDV and low floats? The Binance report points to a few key factors. Oversaturation of private market capital, aggressive valuation, and an uptrend market sentiment, bull market sentiment, have actually significantly contributed to the trend of tokens launching with very high FDVs, fully diluted valuations. Remember, venture capitalists or VCs play a crucial role in the crypto space. Capital VC funds have poured over 91 billion into crypto projects since 2017. Now, if you look at this chart from the Binance report, it shows that the tokens launched in 2024 have the lowest market cap to FDV ratio in the past three years. Roughly 155 billion worth of tokens will be unlocked over the next few years. And this oversaturation has driven up valuations before tokens even hit the public market. Now, the market's been on a high, with the crypto market cap up by 61% in the first quarter of this year. Positive sentiment has actually allowed projects to raise funds at higher valuations and fast. Now, if you look at this graph, VC funding has steadily increased pushing up valuations and making it harder for public investors to see big gains. Put it simply, imagine a new tech startup. If lots of investors are pouring money into it early on, by the time the average person can buy shares, the price might already be very high. The same thing is happening with crypto tokens. And for those that are new, uh, focus on fundamentals. Look into a project's tokenomics, look into the valuation, the product, and the team and understand their basics. Know the 
unlock scheduled. Track when tokens are said to be unlocked to avoid getting caught in price drops. And this is a great website to do so. Another thing you can do is look at the valuation ratios like SDV to total value lock or SDV to revenue. Now, these would give you a good sense of whether a token is overpriced compared to its actual value. If you wanted to buy anything, you won't just go out and buy it. You'll do some research first, right? You'll check the features, you'll compare prices, you'll read some reviews. You need to do the same thing with crypto. You need to do your own research in D-Y-O-R. But you also need to think of long term. So for tokenomics, for example, launching a token with low float and high FDV may help with initial price pumps due to limited token supply. But future unlocks can put substantial selling pressure on the token. And you just have to look at the chart and look at a token unlock and see, you know, how volatile it can become. Token allocation unlock and vesting schedules should be carefully considered. So for project teams, the Binance report emphasizes the importance of thinking long term. Your tokenomics launching a token with a low float and high FDV may help with the initial price bump because, of course, there's limited token supply. But future unlocks can put substantial selling pressure on the token and the token allocation, unlock and vesting schedule should be carefully considered. So to wrap things up, low float and high FDV tokens are a double-edged sword. They can drive initial price bumps, okay? But there's also risk of significant price drops as tokens are on lock. Now, before I go, I have a question for you. Have you ever invested in a project only to see it knows that after a token unlock? Well, drop that in the comment below. Love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until the next video, bye-bye.